guys! So last week I posted a video that showed me signing an ASL and this awesome girl Libby signing in PSE. There were a lot of comments asking me, what's the difference? I'm going to try and answer that question with this video. And if you haven't seen that video, you should check it out. There will be a link right here. You should check it out. Na -na 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 -na. This is your chance. You should click it now. This video will make a lot more sense if you watch it. Ah, go click it. I'm assuming you clicked it. Okay. There are three different types of sign language. Well, American sign language. The first one is ASL. And that stands for American Sign Language. It has its own grammar, its own syntax, it even has its own idioms. It is a full and complete language. Next is PSE. PSE stands for Pigeon Sign English. Pigeon Sign English is ASL without any of the grammar or syntax or idioms. It's just the signs. It uses spoken grammar, but I am going to debunk a lie that I hear a lot. That lie is that the deaf community won't understand you if you sign in PSE. They will understand you just fine. Because spoken grammar, that's what we write with. That's what we read with. That's what America uses in street signs and in books and in classes. It's spoken grammar. So the deaf community knows spoken grammar. <laughs> they know it just like a hearing person does. They will understand you just fine if you use PSE. And a lot of people do. The third form of sign language is SEE, -E, which stands for Sign Exact English. That is exactly what it sounds like. You sign exactly what you say. If I want to say that I am running. In ASL, you would sign running, I run, and then the ING would be implied. But with SEE, -E, it needs to be exact. So you will sign run and then ING to make it obvious that it is run ing. And there can be no confusion whatsoever. It needs to be exact. Now that we know the difference between ASL, PSE, and SEE, why did I choose ASL? Okay, when you sign song covers, it's more personal if it's ASL. ASL allows you to use clarifiers to express what you want to sign in a more visual way. For example, if I want to sign I'm running over there. I could sign I'm running over there. Or I could use the person clarifier. This is like a person and it's the normal clarifier for a person and show the person running away. And that's much more visual and it's much more appealing visually. And I like that. I also like that it's my interpretation and my understanding of the song lyrics. It's mine <laughs> and it's very personal and um, I really like that. I didn't choose SAE because that's just hard. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be finger spelling every word. That's hard. No. No thanks. No. <laughs> I didn't do PSE because it's, in my opinion, it's boring. You're just signing the words. There's nothing special. It's just you signing the words. And I understand that that is really awesome and helpful when you're trying to learn some vocab and get it in your fingers. But I like ASL because you get to express the song lyrics how you understand it. And it's your interpretation. And it's going to be different from everyone else's because you made it up. When you just sign the words, it could be the same as someone else's because you're just signing the words. They know the words, so it's it's not personal. And that has a place in a lot of people like that because it represents what the song is saying like exactly. But I personally prefer to sign my interpretation of the words and make it more visually appealing and more personal. 
That's why I choose to use ASL. And it's difficult. It's not easy. There's grammar and syntax and even some idioms that I don't know. And I'm trying really hard to teach myself the grammar and the syntax. And I make a lot of mistakes. And that's just part of how I learn. Yeah. So there you go. That is why I sign ASL and that's the difference between them all. So I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something. Um, if I said something that was completely wrong, just like write it in the comments. I'll make sure to leave the corrections in the description below. So yeah, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye.